Um, hello everyone. Um, welcome to uh, I'm your uh, data scientist.com. Uh, today we are uh, going to look at uh, one of the tutorial, uh, one of the uh, new feature of Amazon uh, web services they have launched uh, early this year. It's called uh, Amazon uh, SageMaker. Uh, and I'm quite interested in data science and uh, so I wanted to uh, use R with uh, SageMaker which is machine learning web services. So I'm just going to walk through this uh, tutorial, uh, see if I can, if I can uh, complete this tutorial using uh, this, uh, uh, this page. Uh, so uh, to do that you'll need first, first of all obviously you need uh, uh, AWS account. Uh, to, to log in into uh, um, AWS uh, console. Uh, if you're a beginner, it will ask you for uh, uh, credit card details, so on and so forth. Um, so when you, uh, when you are on this page, um, it tells you what to do. Uh, it, it gives you uh, um, kind of what are the instances, what are the stack it will create. So it will create a VPC, uh, EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud, uh, I will create uh, IMA, uh, um, Identity Access Management, then it will, it will install R Studio and R packages. And finally it will create or install, uh, rather install uh, SageMaker Python SDK, uh, Software Development Kit, uh, I believe that SDK stands for. Um, so uh, further ado, let's try and, let's try and uh, do the tutorial. So if you were to click on uh, launch stack, so once you click on uh, launch stack, it will open uh, up this page and uh, leave default uh, uh, default settings. Click next. Again, um, click the uh, uh, key pair name. Um, I would like to take a moment here and talk you through what key pair name is and so on and so forth. So, and first time I uh, created, I tried uh, following this tutorial, I was getting error. Um, why that is? Because uh, um, first of all, I didn't have a key pair name in, in that uh, stack or in that region. So if you were to go top right corner there it says different regions so for example London, Oregon, Ireland, Mumbai so and so forth. So make sure that you create a uh, um, key pair name into a relevant uh, region. So if, I, if I'm in Oregon uh, uh, region, um, make sure that um, uh, I create a uh, um, key pair name within that uh, uh, region. So uh, currently I'm in Oregon uh, region. So if I was to show you what, how it looks like and how can you do that, let me just show you how to do that. To create uh, um, a key pair name, click services, then go to compute, EC2. Uh, then if you scroll down here, somewhere it should say it's key pair, or you can just click here, key pair. I can see I've, I've already have uh, created a key pair here. Uh, so you can just create create a new key pair, say test uh, key pair name. I'll say create. So now I've got two key pairs and it, it downloads uh, for you automatically. Uh, to have to locate that. So remember that before we didn't had uh, uh, we didn't had uh, key pair here. Uh, so if I was to refresh this page, click next, and you can see I've got two key pair names. But I would, um, I'll try and uh, uh, go with uh, the one uh, newly created one. Uh, click next, leave as it is, leave default. Uh, click next. Now at this point, it's asking you to uh, confirm, you know, acknowledge that it will create IMA uh, resources with custom names, so on and so forth. So when you click create, when you click create, 
uh, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes uh, 10 to 15 minutes of uh, to, to create all these stacks um, so uh, I have already created one one earlier so um, I would not create a new one um, one more thing with uh, key pair name is um, is that uh, you need to uh, convert that into private key so how do you do that so you need to uh, you need to install uh, uh, partisan onto your uh, um, uh, machine and remember when we created uh, key pair name it downloaded uh, permanent key onto your laptop or your machine already and so you, you just need to locate that so in my case uh, that's the one permanent key and uh, first to open that click OK and it should have uh, should have uh, save us PPK so I would, uh, I would say test dot PPK so PK save I should have uh, saved that file uh, as PPK into my there you go so that's that's the one we were uh, key pair name permanent key and that's the uh, uh, private connection um, but, uh, installing uh, uh, SageMaker it took me about 15 to 20 minutes because it has to go through um, all the uh, stacks, for example, VPC and uh, EC2, so on and so forth, and also needs to install R Studio uh, onto uh, EC2. So uh, to connect to EC2, um, what you do is you need you need uh, 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 Putty. So there's two different things. Putty Jan is Putty generator, which converts. Uh, let me show you. Uh, it looks like. So this is Putty Generator and this is Putty itself. So Putty Generator, it helps you to convert from permanent key to, uh, this is what we did earlier, uh, to convert uh, Putty. Uh, so we need this one here. So um, I was, again, I was fiddling around with how to do, how to connect these and I wasn't uh, getting anywhere. Uh, frankly speaking, there's no much help on on the AWS forum either. So. I just had to use my knowledge and some googling uh, around. So, um, so this is one of the uh, um, uh, things quite helpful here. Is is this um, this bit here, Windows one? So it tells you what to do uh, in terms of uh, how to use Putty uh, connecting to your uh, uh, EC2 instance. So I've I've already uh, followed uh, followed all these instructions. Uh, and I have created uh, uh, one of uh, uh, the connection default gateway. So I'll just double click and it will connect slowly, slow connect. Now, if I was to uh, go and uh, um, go and uh, click uh, HTTP uh, localhost, should open uh, open. Uh, uh, um, R Studio installed, so you can see R is installed onto my uh, um, EC2 instance, um, and it's up and running really. Uh, now you can pretty much do anything uh, here with data science stuff, installing, bringing in your data, and start doing all the uh, fancy stuff. But there's one more problem uh, that I could not get get my hands hands uh, heads around is I'm still getting an error when uh, connecting it to uh, um, sorry when installing installing some packages um, when you follow this uh, instruction uh, you need uh, a username and password here uh, so you can later on you can reset um, if you wish but uh, for tutorial purpose I'll keep it as it is um, but yeah when I was uh, following uh, this tutorial what I was uh, I was getting I'm getting an error so uh, so for example uh, 
uh, in tutorial it says um, uh, install library uh, and uh, uh, reticulate uh, our um, Python uh, package. Um, so I tried library. Um, and I'd say. Reticulate, so that's so that's fine. That's calls in, but when I uh, try and um, call in uh, Python um, package, Sage Maker. It gives me that error, um, and I think I've looked up. I, I have looked up uh, on Google, and it uh, is to do with your uh, Python uh, uh, version. Uh, so the way you check your Python version is uh, just type uh, Python capital V. Um, so I think I've got uh, Python two point seven point one four fourteen uh, two point seven. Whereas the current uh, latest Python is uh, uh, three point uh, seven point, I think. Three point. My question to uh, um, uh, our community on that same page, um, same page here, at the the bottom. Um, let's see, uh, see what their reply is. I think I've tried. Uh, I also tried. Uh, they give me. Uh, Asking them, I also tried uh, update upgrading Python, but it doesn't work. So somehow, uh, not sure what what to do. But I have uh, asked them. So as soon as they uh, comes back, um, and I will uh, try and uh, uh, follow this uh, same tutorial into a second uh, video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned.